you guys so this you asked for this video so here it is this is your um your deep dive into cutting t-shirts i never thought when i opened up a youtube channel that this would be something i would cover but i've been cutting my t-shirts for quite a while now i'm not someone that typically likes to have something over my shoulders and especially down here in the deep south it gets very very hot especially in the summertime and when I was teaching Mysore full time, I've got boobs. I'm a woman with, I've got double D cups. And so for me as a female Mysore teacher, wearing something like this to teach, I wasn't super comfortable with because I press my body up against my students a lot and adjustments, all that kind of stuff. And so I started to, again, cut my t-shirts so that I can have something looser to wear in the Mysore room and also something a little bit more comfortable when it was really hot down here in the South. So these are, these are my t-shirts. I want to show you how I kind of do this. So I don't measure my t-shirts. I just kind of go freestyle. I kind of like it when it's a little bit not so perfect, right? And I don't have a problem cutting into the design. So as you, as you can see, I like the V-necks. It depends on your body and what you're comfortable showing with your body. Um, I'm comfortable showing my chest just because, I don't know, I just am. So that's like one I cut in. Here's my Grateful Dead t-shirt. Like I cut into that as well, as you can see. Um, here's from Liz's shop. I cut into this and made the holes in the arms. And here's another one, right, that I cut into. So I am, don't have a problem with cutting into t-shirt designs. That's totally up to you though. I also cut the arms a little bit wider as well. And again, that's gonna be totally up to your, your preference. So I don't mind if my bra is showing a little bit. I have no, I have no problem with that. So, so that's why my armpit holes are a little bit wider than some other people might prefer with their um with their t-shirts so it, it's totally up to you now a secret my secret of my t-shirts so i just went to the doctor a few weeks ago and i am five five that is my 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 highest five five so um i'm about a hundred between a hundred ten hundred fifteen pounds so i'm a pretty thin person i know it's hard to tell that on the camera sometimes because the camera does kind of change your body angle they say the camera out adds like 10 pounds it's not that the camera adds 10 pounds it will just show your body angles in ways that maybe aren't truly representative of what you look like so just kind of so that you get a good idea of of my body structure i do being between 110 pounds 115 pounds at 5'5 five five, i do have a relatively as i said large chest i'm about a 32 to a 34 double d vein of my existence are my boobs um funny story my boyfriend's not really a boob guy so that's that's a weird trick of nature right there but anyway i do have boobs so even though my stomach's flat and small my boobs aren't so for me to be comfortable with t-shirts i am more comfortable purchasing a men's small t-shirt and that also gives me the flexibility of the cut um, what I mean by that is it allows me a little bit more flexibility in how I'm cutting. So if I make a little bit of a mistake, I can go back and fix with the scissors. I hope that makes sense. If it's a, a female t-shirt, they're a little bit, 
thinner to fit the female body. And um, I don't have as much flexibility with the way I cut. So with that being said, I'm going to now show you, I'm going to cut a t-shirt to kind of show you how I do it. All right. So I actually have this t-shirt that one of my really good friends from high school, actually, I shouldn't say high school, one of my childhood, my childhood best friend that I've known for most of my life, just sent me this t-shirt from a B company. Shout out to Paige. Um, and I have not had a chance to cut it yet. So I, it's been on my list of things to do because every time I get a t-shirt, I typically cut it. Um, again, I'm not a super fan of having sleeves, anything on my shoulders. It's a textural thing. And especially since it gets so hot out here. So this is kind of how I do it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around the armpit and I'm going to go with the armpit. I'm going to go kind of out and around and then down. So let me show you. I'm actually going to start this side. I'm going to start from the bottom. So I'm going to start at about right here. For me, that's typically good. Now, remember, guys, I've been doing this for years. So I am very used to doing this. So um, if you've never done this before and you're very nervous, you can always get some old T-shirts as a practice to practice in. Like T-shirts you might be about to turn into, you know, dusting rags or something. So there's the sleeve. So there's that side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and try to measure it. And again, my measurements are very rough because I kind of like it a little bit mismatched, a little bit rougher. So I'm going to take from the bottom, I'm going to kind of come across here and kind of figure out roughly where that where that's even. It's about right here. And I'm going to cut here now. Right. So now I've got both the sleeves cut. I might have to go back and when I'm done with this and I try it on. I might have to go back and touch some of the sides up, which is typical. So I've got a little some snags here, which I'll go and clean up. Now, if you're a anal retentive about it being even, you can always measure and stuff. But again, that's just not, it's not how I like to do it. And, you know, again, like I sweat in these shirts. So it's not like I'm going out to a fancy dinner or anything in these shirts. I have other clothes. I have other clothes that aren't cut t-shirts. So now I'm going to work on the neckline. Now, if you like having the whole print or you don't want to have a v-neck, then all you would do is just cut around. You would just cut around the neckline that's here. You would just find the seam and cut around the seam. Super easy. I like a good v-neck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut into the crew here. And I'm going to start to take it down. Again, I'm not measuring it. I don't want it to be super, super, super even. I kind of, again, like it being a little uneven. And I'm cutting into the writing here. That's what I do with all my shirts. I cut into all the writing, as you guys saw in the beginning. A little bit more here. And now I'm going to take it up, back to the top. Actually, a little bit more here. So you see, I'm kind of just kind of feeling that out. And now, take it back up. All right, so I've got the front done. Now for me, what I'm gonna do along the back is I'm actually just gonna, I'm not gonna V-neck the back. You can, I do have some shirts that are V-necked on the back as well, but I'm not gonna do it with this one. I'm just gonna cut along the ridge of the crew neck here. So that's what I end up with, right? I'm going to try this on for you now so you can see. So I just threw this over my top. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave that as is because that works for me. Now, if I wear this, like if I wear this to teach on Sunday or something, which I might do, I might wear it to teach on Sunday. I might, as I'm teaching, feel, oh, I need to cut a little bit here. You can see that snagged. Or I might need to cut a little bit here. Or I might figure I need it to go even deeper down into the crescent of my side body. I'll do that. You can see the back here, right? So that's how I do my t-shirts. I hope that was a somewhat of an explanation on these shirts. You really can't mess up because, again, 
to me, the coolness of the shirt is when it's not perfect. Like when it's a little bit mismatched, I think that makes it gives the t-shirt more personality anyway. So just play with it. Go and get really old t-shirts that you don't care. Try them on. Play with it. Again, if you are anal retentive and you want to measure, you can measure to make sure it's the same on each side. But personally, I like it. Again, I like it a little bit disheveled. And just have fun with it, guys. It's just a t-shirt. That's all it is. It's just a t-shirt. And one day, when we have Esoteric Atlanta t-shirts, I will be cutting some and selling them. But so selling them cut. But for this, just just have fun and just explore. So anyway, you guys, let me know. Uh, show me your pictures if you try decide to do it. It's so freeing, especially if you live in a hot area of the world like I do. So anyway, guys, I hope that explained it. Let me know if you have any more questions. Bye.